I was 59, and I took my backpack. My mom had died and left me a little bit of money, and I thought, you know, I wanted to see the world. So I decided I was going to go just take the backpack and go. And my publisher had a friend that picked me up at the airport in Hong Kong. The boss of the place I was working was in Hong Kong, and he met Katie down there, and he told her, if you ever come to Western Australia, come and visit me. Uh, I ended up finally in Singapore, Bali. And then from Bali, went off to Perth. Katie came to Western Australia, and the, the man he, she met in Hong Kong, he was a bit of a womanizer. So he was scared that his word would go out to his missus. I could see he was quite nervous. And he said, I, I am uh, really embroiled in a, you know, a big business deal, and I can't take you around, but I'll turn you over to my foreman. And out steps this six-foot, bare to the waist, guy in shorts. Summertime in Australia, you don't wear many clothes, so I just had a pair of shorts on, and, uh, on, and that was it. And I said to myself, oh, tough shit. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Okay, uh, thanks, whatever your name was. So anyhow, that started it. Never mind what happened after that. <laughs> God damn, we got a lot of birds. A lot of birds, beautiful birds. And Joey won't sell them. They're his friends. He's like me with the canyon, maybe. He wants them around, and he's got them downstairs and upstairs and in the living room. I like working with wood, you know. Katie, Katie wants me just to keep on going and going and going, but as I said, you have to have inspiration, you know. And I don't want to, uh, don't have to do it for the money. I don't need the money, you know, I've got enough to live from with Aunt Katie, too. Well, uh, we take care of each other as much as we can. <laughs> I decided it was going to be an actress, be a Hollywood actor, and I went and I did it. First time I walked on the stage, I knew my lines and everybody else's lines, and it felt like I was at home, and I said, you know, this is where I belong, and so uh, pursued that. Oh, yes. I was told that these photos ended up on the tent flaps of the guys that were over in Europe fighting World War II. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Harvey, beautiful Harvey. He had a little shop here. Came from New York, was doing all the things he wanted to do, and then he up and had a heart attack and died. And that is why I commemorated him by getting on my bike and riding naked through town. I just decided, Harvey, this is for you, and you would love it. This is like a big family art <laughs> And, you know, we're very supportive of each other. I think about now about how things were changing back there in Hollywood, and it seemed like suddenly I did not want to have to get up the next morning in Hollywood. Burl Ives came along about that time. I don't remember asking Burl for anything. I know he wanted to get laid, but then that was out of the question. And he kept encouraging me. He said, Katie, get the hell out of here. This town is not for you. You need to go out and sing your river songs and your folk songs to people who appreciate them. I thought, you know, I'm out of here. The Glen Canyon was like an Eden. It had waterfalls, it had grottos, it had smells. It had a running, rushing, vibrant river running through it. And the anticipation of the search of adventure, you never knew what was around the next corner. You just didn't have a clue. 
there were some mokey steps going up. There was a way up if you knew how to go, and we knew. We would swim in the potholes and, and in the trenches of water. It had 125 side canyons, all of them different, all of them inviting and asking you to, to come in and then stopping you cold and full of Indian ruins, full of Native American artifacts, their pottery, their matatis and their manos, and their fingerprints in the mud. All of that's gone, all underwater. Never went back to Hollywood. From then on, rivers were my lovers, and that's what I did the rest of my life. What's left of my rivers? What's left of me? We're going to probably go out together. Rivers are the lifeblood of our planet. And they need to flow. They don't need to be dammed every 15 feet. When I really saw what they were doing to the canyon, and I knew that they were going to actually dam it, then I started fighting. These are some of the demonstrations that we had, trying to fight the dam. Singing, I learned long ago, is the best way to fight. Three beers for the wreck, the nation beer over them I know. There is no cure, all waters of the world they would impound. You take the blood out of the body, you die. You take the rivers out of our world, and we're no longer going to be here. I'll eat a bit of toast if you like. Don't you want some of my soup? No, thank you, dear. Okay. I have this health food. <laughs> I worry about Katie now and then, and I feel, what am I going to do if she goes? I would have a terrible life all on my own, because most of the things that we do, we do together. She climbs up those circular stairs in the morning when I'm in the kitchen making the coffee. I lean over as far as I can over the stairs and she gets my wrist and I pull her up. But I worry about her a lot. This sucks of course, but it's better than nothing. I've often wondered why people are so interested in what Katie Lee is doing. Why should they give a shit what I'm doing? Well, I guess I've shot off my mouth so many times and in, in so many places that somebody heard it. Not bad for 96, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Most people are afraid to stick their necks out. And they need something to hang on to so that they take that first swing, maybe. You have to just get out and start shooting off your mouth. And I suppose I do that. In fact, I'm sure I do it because some people don't appreciate being given advice they haven't asked for. It. <laughs> Maybe that's my legacy. I'll give you advice whether you want it or not. And get off your ass and start moving. <laughs> Someday before I'm old and gray, I'll find a woman who She'll take the rapid strong with me And she'll blend her voice In a song with me My heart knows what the river knows I gotta go where the river goes Restless river, wild and free The lonely one are you? If I could take down that Glen Canyon Dam with one of these, I'd go for it. <laughs> and by the way, I learned how to swear from all the cowboys around the, the ranch, so uh, that's the way it is. And that's what I do, and I'm going to continue to do it, and probably my last word before I die will be, 